meeting with you. Um, you've inspired so many, so many young fighters, Evander, yeah. because you're one of those guys that, um, first of all, from the Olympics, you know, yeah. from the Olympics to, you know, you coming in as a cruiserweight, you moving up to heavyweight, you, you unifying cruiserweight. Right? Let's talk like right. don't forget that. This is the you're the first guy to unify the cruiserweight division. Yeah. Let's not forget that. And then jumps and then be, being the smaller guy jumps into the heavyweight division. Um talk to me a little bit about that, your progress and how that all took place. Well uh, actually it started off uh, you know, at eight years old. Yeah. I was told that I could be the heavyweight champ of the world. Yeah. And so and so so three things they say, listen, follow direction, don't quit. Yeah. And so, you know, I'm, you know, of course, I weigh 65 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> you know, in the eighth so I, you know, you know, when I, you know, no, when eight, I was eight, eight, eight years old, old yeah. eight years old. And so, you know, I started in the amateur boxing like yeah. that. You know, I fought 12 years in the amateur boxing. Yeah. I made, I made the Olympic team. Yeah. And so when I come back, come back, so I was, I was going, you know, I, you know, I was sparred with these heavyweights and all this, and I realized that she, them suckers mm -hmm. hit hard. Now, this right. is you preparing to turn pro after the Olympics? Yeah, yeah, after the Olympics, after yeah. The Olympics. So, right. so, you know, I'm, so I go in as a light heavy, you yeah. know. And, but I couldn't eat nothing, man. I had, you know, I'm telling you, you know, to, you know, it's one thing, you know, I used to eat, you know, about two meals a day. Yeah, okay. But, now, but it's, it's different when you, you get a million dollar contract. Yeah. <laughs> and, do you do you want to eat two times a day then? Yeah. <laughs> so, I said, eight I want to say, you know, then I can't then I can't drink a lot of water, yeah. nothing. I mean, I you know. So so were you were you did you have even to make cruiserweight? Were you did you have to cut or did you have to eat? To I, make I, I had to cut to make the my to mm. make the light heavy. Yeah. So right, so right. and so all of a sudden, you know, man, I just I couldn't do nothing. You yeah. know, I, I couldn't. I got a pocket for the money. I now I got money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I ain't even happy with the money I got because I can't spend all the money. You can't eat. Everybody want to eat. Yeah. Like, correct me if I'm wrong. That most of that weight you, you shut off is a lot of water weight, right? When well, you go into those well, well, fights, well, well, some you people, see guys drop 15 pounds in a day. Well, yeah, you see you see people, and, and that's how you tell your body. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I, how dangerous is cutting weight? Yeah. Well, yeah, it, it can be bad, man. You, yeah. I remember one time. I, I cut too much and I had cramps in my neck, head, oh, I like wow. that I was, body. And this right. is that weigh-in. This is weigh-in, then you get into yeah. the Yeah, I'm the, I caught them cramps like this, and it tore me up, so I realized not to ever go that route. So, so I, I moved up, I'm, I, so I, that's when I choose to move the light heavy to cruiserweight. Mm -hmm. And so the cruiserweight was 190. Mm. Right. Now, I walk around at 184. Mm. Okay. And so people come down for 200 yep, pounds yeah, to, exactly. to down there. So when they come down, they lose their weight. You know what? I beat the daylight yeah. out of them. <laughs> I beat the daylight out of them because I got the energy and yeah. I was young and I was strong and I could box. And so, you know, so after 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 doing that for three years and and I was, I, I went and Mike, Mike was the heavyweight champ of the world. Yeah, I so, and I'm like, so, so. My whole thing is, I knew I could beat Mike. Yeah, right on. Because, because I sparred with Mike yeah, in the cool. amateur. Yeah, and all yeah. This, so I, 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 I knew what I, to expect. Yeah, I knew what to expect. So, our big thing is that, and I'm trying to figure out now, I was selling the place out. Yeah. I saw the place. Hey, yeah, where were you fighting? That's in Vegas. Yeah. I was uh, in Vegas. Did, did you fight in Georgia at the time too? Did you bring I, you guys I, here? I, I fought Georgia. I won my first title in Georgia okay. in '86. Yeah. yeah. Then all of a sudden, you know, here I am. Here I am. I'm the undisputed days. cruiserweight champion. Yeah. Moving on up and, to heavyweight. And I, you know, went moving. I wasn't gonna move to heavyweight, mm. but I asked them a question. I said, "How is it that?" I make two hundred thousand a fight, and Mike made two million a fight. Yeah. Right. What's going on? And they say, "Cause you're a cruiserweight, uh -huh. you're a heavyweight." There you go. I said, "What that mean?" Yeah. I said, well, "How much money would you give me if I went to it? If I if I move up the heavyweight debate?" And they said, yeah, "Mike, I'll kill you, boy." Yeah. I, and so they didn't want me to go up there because they didn't want me to get hurt. Yeah. And this was your advisors and management and everybody. No, 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 no these are the promoters, the people in the, in the box. Yeah. Oh. Okay. And I, I told them to call, I called Olympic training camp. So they called Olympic training camp. They yeah. Olympic training camp told them, said, Evander Holyfield can whoop 
not just the heavyweight, but the super heavy. Yeah. He said, Evander he Holyfield is to beat everybody. Yeah. Could nobody beat? They said, could nobody beat Evander Holyfield yeah. when he when he was light heavy? Yeah. And I guess yeah. and, and, and everybody go. Your facts. What? So. Who was, who was the head of uh, American uh, uh, boxing coach at the time for uh, Pat Nappy. Pat Nappy. Pat Nappy. So, so what what happened is that I moved up to the heavyweight division, mm-hmm. and and so my first fight they they paid me three hundred fifty thousand. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they are. Uh, yeah, that's that a way. lot of money. Yeah. yeah for then sure. my next fight they paid me five hundred thousand. Mm-hmm. So now. Uh, so, Oh my goodness! The next one they gave me seven fifty. Yeah. Oh. And then your title fight came what? The fourth or fifth fight? Was no, the title no, fight? no. I had to keep fighting. I, yeah. When I got seven fifty. Yeah. Then I fought, fight for I, I fought for one point two million. Yeah, yeah. Then I'm like, oh my goodness! I was just like, oh shoot! <laughs> oh my goodness! Who knew? Who knew? I then, then, this now, then all of a sudden they yeah. go. Um, so they they proposed to fight. To, for Tyson, yeah, mm-hmm. and so Tyson gets locked up, right? No, no, he get locked up. He he get ready. To, he he decided not to fight me, to okay. fight Buster Douglas. That's right. Ah, Buster so Douglas, right. so all of a sudden, I fight another fight. They give me another one point two. Mm-hmm. Then I go to Japan to mm-hmm. see him fight Buster Douglas. I he lose. Yeah, yeah, he loses right off. And then everybody tell me, man, you lost a lot of money. Now I go. How? Yeah. They say, Tyson Law. Yeah, yeah. I said, what I got to do with me? Yeah, I said, exactly. my goal is to be the headway champion of the world. world. That's bottom line. So they said, you were going to get $15 million. I said, well, I said, I said my goal is to be the headway champion of the world. And they said, this way crazy. Yeah, they, right. Because they were boxing. They think about money. money. Yeah. I'm thinking about heavyweight my champion goal of the world. Was, my goal was to be the headway champion of the world. Mm-hmm. So, okay, I, I fight Buster Douglas. Mm-hmm. So. So I don't get 15 million, but I get eight. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> eight, eight better than eight better than one point two. Yeah, yeah, it definitely uh, is. So, right. so it was leveled up. And exactly. plus, yeah. I got him in. I got him in three rounds. I remember. I, I remember. Him. So, you, so you you took you took you took his belt. This is ninety three. Oh, no, no, this is 1990. 1990. That's October right. October 25th. 1990. Undisputed heavyweight champ of the world. Uh huh. Then my next fight. I fight George Foreman. Yeah. Man. And they give me twenty-two million dollars. Now do you understand why that mansion was how many rooms was the mansion? How much how many rooms was the the, the, the mansion? Yeah, it was the hundred and fourth room. <laughs> <laughs> and, and with the way boxing is, the boxing is looking today with the heavyweight class, you got the Deontay Wild and the Tyson Fury. You think them guys would have been able to last with you guys back in the day? Well, you know. It's hard to say. Hard to yeah. say. It's hard to say. It's easy to, to say what you would have done. And uh, all. Yeah, for sure. I'm telling you, know, I'm telling I'm telling I'll be still fighting now if I had the reflex. Yeah. I know what to do. Yeah. But my reflex, reflex is good. Yeah. 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 That's, that's, that, that's the whole, you know, I'm telling you, it's just like, you know, me looking at my kids when they were running. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm saying, you know, you can't get your leg to turn that fast no more. Right. How do you, how do you, the, the landscape. You mean you got you got you got Tyson, you got Wilder, or Tyson Fury. You have Wilder. You have uh, Joshua. You have D- D- Dylan White. You have Big Baby Miller. Uh, and you guys have some heavyweights at that place in Florida with you and uh, Riddick over there. The heavyweight yeah. camp, yeah. right? Uh, the, yeah. What's going? Who's over there? Who's over there? Well, well, we we got a couple of guys. They they ain't yet ready. Yeah. <laughs> but okay. but I understand what you're saying. Yeah. But see, the art of the game is that you fight the you get the, you get to your best fighter now. Deontay would knock on all them boys out. Yeah, right. I was like, they don't even understand. Don't I'm understand like, what he doing. this guy, this guy, he do the basic stuff, but he good. Yeah. And he got quick hands. Yeah. He crack quick hands. Yeah. He ain't trying to be a physical presence. You know, he I'm, 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 I'm this big old big old guy and I can't get out the way. Yeah. He he got quick hands. Well, guy, a guy like, yeah, I mean, he's, he live, he lives behind his, his, his long knockout. reach. He and likes to live behind that. Right. But the guy like you cut, you cut range. You cut, yeah. you get inside in the middle. You know what I'm saying? Head down. Most you know, I, I see, I see what you, you do there. See, you, you, see, it's almost like going to school. Mm-hmm. Like, if you don't go to, you don't go to elementary school, you ain't, it's going to be hard for you to pick up all this other yeah, stuff. Yeah, for sure. Uh-huh. Because uh-huh. you need these basic yeah, skills. Yeah. And boxing, they need basic skills. Yeah. So when you start at a, when you start at an older age, 
it's kind of hard because you kind of get embarrassed. Mm -hmm. When you're a kid, you don't get embarrassed. You fall down, you get back up. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, it. You know, so. this is how you learn how to fight. Yeah. You, you start learning how to move the head. It become you, 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 you come natural because it's a skill thing. You ain't scared to be embarrassed. Yeah. See, that's really hard for older people that mm -hmm. learn anything because they don't want to get in bad. It's kind of like how you yeah. see those um, Asian children playing the piano at such a young age. Yeah. You put them 10,000 hours in or something, yeah, yeah. and you become an expert at it. Well, but that one saying, that's how, see, that's how it was boxing. I, I've been boxing all that time, and, and I became better. Like, it's the people who were better than me. Yeah. But when it came down to 15, 16, 17 years old, you know what they did? What was that? They got girlfriends. <laughs> I couldn't have a girlfriend. Nah. So I was stuck in anything. So when they came back, I was the better boss. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs>